love and emotions. So if you are in a situation where somebody in your love life is acting crazy, okay, overly attracted to you or overly drawn to you or attached to you or clingy, or if you are feeling that, okay, feeling like you're just over the war, over the moon in love with somebody and you need them, be very cautious and don't act on that energy. Now, some people like that energy and it's great, all right? Some people react very well to being needed in that capacity, but it is being triggered by what's happening with this opposition. So just be aware of that. And if your partner's bugging you, don't react negatively to them because it'll pass as soon as, as soon as this opposition passes at the end of the week. If you're being clingy and, you're be, and your partner's not reacting well and they're starting to push back, let that, let that trigger in your mind, oh crap, I'm being forced kind of by this energy and I need to back up a little bit. And don't take offense. Don't take offense and don't overreact either way. Just be aware that, that this type of stuff can happen this week. Okay, stalking, spying, I need you, crying, you know, grabbing onto your leg. I need you, don't leave me, I need you. Okay, that's just happening this week. It will be okay next week. So let it pass, don't overreact to it. And don't be overly sensitive to it either. Be aware that's what's going on. Okay, this is your energy. This is your partner or your person or love interest. If you're completely single, this is moot. Okay, don't message me and be like, I'm single. Rah, okay, most likely somebody's on your mind, but if not, then just this is moot. This is your challenge in love, benefit, and outcome. The overall energy for the week, Virgos, is the tower reverse. So this is beautiful because any weird thing that happened or breakdown that happened, it's kind of starting to put be put back together or it was just kind of a minor shakeup last week with the, the uh, or earlier this week as we went, it started to go into Mercury retrograde. So just kind of be aware. Shakeups, but nothing major, or you're coming out of it. Where are you, Virgos? We have the Devil card, Two of Cups, beautiful. Two of Swords reversed. You've made a decision in the Four of Wands. So there's definitely an attachment to somebody. So this, so be careful with this Pluto opposition to Venus and Cancer. Be cautious because this could be kind of an unhealthy attachment to somebody. Again, it's right next to the Two of Cups. So traditionally, this is a beautiful energy. But this week, maybe a little bit too much. It's almost like you just met somebody and now you're in love and you're, you want to marry them. And you met them like Saturday. Okay. So Two of Swords, you've made your decision and you're in, you're in, you're in love. Okay. You're wanting to go either go to celebrations or have a celebration or plan a wedding. It's like, boom. Virgos want to get married. Virgos found their soulmate. Be cautious. It's probably this energy. I hope that's actually the case for you. I do. And I'm not saying that it's not the case. I really do hope you're, in, you're really in love and you are planning a huge celebration together and there's this solid decision that's been made and it's combined with intense sexual energy and emotional connection. That would be perfect. I hope that's the case. But if it's not, if it just be a little cautious that it could be this Pluto opposition. Because here's why I say that. What's going on in your person's life, okay? They have strength. All right? Strength is a good card. It can mean trust. It can mean trust. It can mean loyalty. But it also means strength and confidence in one's own self and one's own soul. They do this on their own. They don't need another partner to do this. It could be with the fire sign. I don't know. We have king of wands. So they're in control. Again, they're in control of their own life. They're not relying on any external love energy. Okay, you may love them for that, but are they reciprocating that to you? Be aware. They're very much in control of their own life. Ace of Cups reversed. So you have all this energy. They have this energy combined with Four of Pentacles, which means they're withholding. Okay, and this withholding, obsession or rejection breeds what? What is it? What is rejection? Bre and I'm not saying they're rejecting you, but just, you know, Think, think along these lines. Obse rejection breeds what? What's the word? Obsession. Objection. Rejection breeds obsession. So be careful, Virgos. 
because they're kind of withholding. They're not, they're not being very forthcoming with emotions or time or tangible assets. In fact, they're completely kind of doing their own thing. And you're completely kind of planning a wedding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let's look at this at a higher level. What's the challenge? The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is a challenge because one person might be seeing this outcome or this goal. The other person might not be. Now, again, these can be flip-flop. Don't leave messages and comments that say, is this the other person's energy? Yeah, it, it can be. It can flip-flop, okay? So one person's kind of thinking along these lines and the other person isn't. That's the challenge here. The benefit is the Queen of Pentacles. The benefit is you're Virgo, you're very grounded, or at least you usually are. And so you're going to have a practicality to this. So if you feel like this at moments during the week, it, they, it, it might come back to a little bit more grounded place where you're kind of realizing, oh, maybe I need to either get to know this person so much or they're kind of pulling away. Maybe I shouldn't get so excited about it. Let's just see how things go. Plan. You won't overreact in a negative way to any of this. You'll be very practical and actually very diplomatic in your understanding of the differences of energy that's happening here. So that's actually a very good benefit. So your feelings, if you're kind of running away on cloud nine, you're going to maybe realize that they're not, but it's not going to really hurt your feelings. You'll be okay with it. And then you'll kind of start to pull away. Frankly, we have the page of cups reverse. So you're going to kind of slow down that communication and that, that excitement and youthful, playful energy towards them and then just kind of play it out and see what happens. And there's not going to be any like really hurt feelings or frustration. It's, you're, it's going to be a very diplomatic and balanced um, mindset as you go through the week. So again, I'm not saying that this is not how you're really feeling. And I'm not saying that they couldn't feel like this too. But this week, it's very different energies. So just be aware of that. They could flip all this around next week and be totally in love with you. And you could, you know, tame this down a little bit and you guys can meet in the middle next week. So don't be frustrated by this energy at all, Virgos. Please don't. I think what's going to happen is you're going to end up being very diplomatic about it to yourself. Okay, diplomatic to yourself about, oh, I, I need to like pull back a little bit. And then you'll just pull back and everything will be fine. And it actually might cause them to step forward. All right. All right, Virgos. It's going to be a very interesting week. Um, let's be excited about going into next week and see what happens too. But, you know, also in the moment, you know, feel these feelings. They're great to feel. And it's beautiful and hopeful. And you can still be in this space and still pull back in the communication and then see how they react to it. Because they might just flip this ace card right around flip this four of pentacles right around and all of a sudden they're really starting to open up. Okay, that might be all that's needed. So, welcome to Mercury Retrograde. It's in your sign in Virgo. And enjoy the week, all right? Thanks, Virgos. Bye.